What's up, y'all? It's your girl Marie. Sorry, I've been missing for a little bit. I had to get my album done. But now I'm gonna do some business shit and then <laughs> a bitch done broke her fingers. So yeah, y'all know how that shit go. Been in some pain, but I'll be alright. And don't be talking shit. You get still get smacked with other motherfucking hand, bitch. But <laughs> the reason of the video is because I keep getting requests on my hair. Like, what are you using? How you doing it? This, that, blah, blah, blah. Look healthy as shit. This, that, this, that, da, da, da. Because a lot of people, they know me from a long time ago. Like, my hair was fucked. All right, y'all. So we got a couple things here. Spray bottle. Don't forget it. Then I got multicultural curls. This shit pop. Really pop. Especially if you a mixed girly. This shit work good. And I like this too. Why was it rhyme and reason? Yeah. Rhyme and reason. I like this as well. I do both sometimes. It just depends what mood I'm in. Sometimes when I have my hair fully out, I go this route because it holds a little bit better. It's a little thicker. This, I do this when I do like updos or it's just a nice little ponytail and I don't want like too much weight on my curls. So this is for a thicker hold. This is for a lighter hole, but they both work fucking good, so I'm getting both too. And then, what I got? Ah, I like this stuff right here. This um, argan oil. So this works good if you got a dry ass motherfucking head, and you, you know what I mean. You got you a little scratchy and shit. Like use some of this shit. It called hair food. Like you go to the hair stores, you'll see a whole bunch of these. They're super super cheap, and they work super good. And my hair, well. It's been growing back a lot thicker because when I do the parts of my hair, I'm going to show you how I do it. I've been putting this, like, whatever little line I see, you want it directly on your scalp, not just, like, it ain't finna do shit if it's not on your scalp. Like, that's where all the absorption goes. But, you know. All right, let's get this shit popping real quick. If y'all don't peep. I already had this pre-done how I wanted to. All I did was split it, take some gel, and my um my little soft brush here, and I laid this shit down. So just so y'all know, you're like, well, you skipped the part, bitch. No, I didn't. I just ain't feel like doing that shit because I'm pressed for time today. So fuck, I had to do this shit real quick. I'm like, y'all gotta get the little mojo because I'm gonna just do it um section by section kind of shit. Oh, that was a net. <laughs> oh, damn, that was another one. Hold up. Oh, you's a bitch. Okay, so you see, I just like ripped my fucking hair out of my head. Same all that. It looks good. But I just wet it a little bit. And there we go with that. So now. Well, I tell y'all, this for the heavier shit, this for the lighter shit. So I'm finna have this out. So we gonna go with my homie right here. And then, look, I'm trying to make this shit real simple. So I do finger curls. They work really good because my hair is like naturally wavy, curly already. But we all know as the day goes on, this motherfucker get like fucking Simba. Like this shit go poof. So if I don't have some like this stuff to control it, I'll just be looking crazy. So I just split it. And yes, it is a little time consuming, but your hair will love you forever. So treat your hair nice and it'll treat you nice. Cause if you're an asshole to your hair, trust me, your hair gonna look like a motherfucking asshole, literally. Dirty, nasty as fuck. Look like you ain't done shit with it in a minute. So, you know, be nice to it. But I'm gonna just show y'all. Like you see how I put that in, right? And it's like, it's already curling by itself. Like, I barely have to do shit with my hair, but I just, you know what I mean? I like to be extra as well sometimes. But you just look. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm holding it like this. Two fingers here, two here. And I'm just kind of wrapping it. And then you see, I kind of still have cream on my finger because then it goes through every little ounce of your hair. So look, look at that. And then, I'm telling you, this shit stays like that. It just stays. But, I mean, I don't know how it works on straight hair. I don't have straight hair, so I couldn't tell you if that shit will hold. You can try it. You can at least try it, no matter. And it beats burning the shit out your hair with, like, 
them curling irons, and especially if your hair is already naturally curly, like, try it this way. It's a lot healthier. I'm telling you, like, my ends, like, even, like, up here, like, even though it's, like, dry just because, you know, I brushed it out. It's dry from the shower. I washed it, conditioned it, the whole nine. It's still, it looks the fuck good. Trust me. I have fucked up ends, and they ain't the fuck cute. So, you see, I went ahead and just did the rest of it real quick because I wasn't going to hold up all that time. So, mind you, it's not, like, a perfectly straight line. We should all know how to make lines at this point. If not, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on that because I ain't doing that shit right now. But I will do it later for y'all. But just let's pretend that there's a line back here and it's straight, whatever. Or it's just, it's separated. Y'all know how to do that. So where the fuck I just put this shit? Hold up. So we taking this right here, the argan oil. If I'm saying it right, argan, argan, whatever the fuck it is. And I'm just putting it right in the back here. I know you can't see it or whatever, but. And it's coming out slow. I'm not squeezing the crap out of it. I'm just putting a little bit back there, like. I'll let y'all see how it looks. See? It's just oil. Nice oil that keeps your hair happy. So, now you see it's all nice and curly. This took me approximately five minutes. Okay, on to next shit. So, now we're done with the bottom. I'm just grabbing a nice little section here again. You see completely different from the curls down here. They're defined. They're healthy looking, juicy looking. And also a good thing about this stuff is it's leave-in conditioner. So you can leave it in your hair. Like sometimes I have my hair like this for maybe three days because I'm just picky like that. I could do it longer. But once it's like it looks a certain way, I don't want it no more. So I rinse it out of my hair and then I do it again. But I put a little bonnet things on my head and all that stuff. So this, yeah, I'm saying maybe take 30, 45 minutes. Depending on what you do. If you're doing your whole head, like edge all that included, it's gonna take a little longer normally have a hair clip but i just kind of just push that up there my hair is long enough just a month ago it wasn't long enough because i chopped my hair off so i can get it back all the way healthy and it is working you can even take it into bigger sections like this is a little bit bigger one and you can what i came out pretty you can just pull it apart a little bit and do it again up top sorry i know i'm moving kind of fast but you get what i'm saying like you could take mid sections so you can move like say you're in a rush you got to do it a little quicker that's one way that you can do it as well just make sure up here it looks good like don't be looking crazy Jody got Jody got Jody got He catching up because I'm bad, he a soldier I'm from the east, he from the west, but like we're chosen I'm from the mud, I ain't had shit, but now we loaded You could see me in that rover, in that rover He catching up because I'm bad, he a soldier I'm from the east, he from the west Alright y'all, we dang near there, so Now that we towards the front I'm going to my multicultural curls I said this gives me a little bit more of a light look in the front like this a little more heavier but it's still soft like that's key like i can't stand hardened curls like i used to have that all the time and i'm like this is not it like this is just not it felt like i had to wait one to be like this shit won't move now that shit bounce it just got too much bounce popping almost so now that we're using multicultural curls i want y'all to see how this looks very soft. i'm gonna try it again hold up <laughs> that shit just flew right the fuck off my stand. Like, I swear I got the worst slugs. My, my dumb ass got my finger broke. Uh, just a little stupid shit, you know. Okay. So, here's this one with the multicultural curls. Ooh. Pop it. And it smells good. It smells good. But I think about it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, let's see it again. That's how it looks. It's nice and smooth. You can wet it, not wet it. It's your preference for real. I just think wetting it gives it a little bit more of an effect. Because you see, it's still dry, so I'm wetting it anyways. I should just wet it. But whatever. I'm just running it through. Oh, here y'all go. Here's the end result. Looks good. Good. It looks healthy. 
juicy, all that. So get your rhyme and reason, leave it in hair conditioner, go get your multicultural curls. It looks super good. Go try it out. Give it a good week because if your hair is severely damaged, it's going to take a while to heal. Make sure you get all them dead ends cut out too because you don't want to have it looking nice like this. You got some raw ass ends. It's just, uh, it don't look good. So link in the description. Follow me on all social medias. Make sure you give my channel a like and subscribe because I'm going to have more coming y'all way. Let me know what other videos y'all want to see in the comments and state where y'all from. Love to see it. Damn, I can't even do the heart. Well, it's in my heart. Here you go.